Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now, y'all, forgive me if this AC blowing in the phone. I got my headset on, actually. Got the other one tucked in my shirt. I ain't got too long. I just was, I'm out picking up breakfast for my wife. And I was thinking, and I forgot to say this last night when I was doing the video, and it's called, Have You Been Deceived? Now, for one, y'all know we had our interviews that be going up on Sunday, but we had to do the channel thing in September. So those will be coming back, but I'm going to move them to Saturday, to, to the Small Business Saturday, where we do, like, talking about different gifts and entrepreneurship, you know, type of things that people get into. So Small Business Saturday, those interviews, they'll be at 9 a.m. on Saturdays. So that way they'll be there all day. So anytime that you get free that you can watch it then get on there and catch that and you'll get the you know kind of learn about different people and learn what they doing and the different entrepreneurial ventures because we got authors speakers all that and but one thing i wanted to talk to you about and this is what i realized is the obsession that people have with profits it actually comes from fear and it comes from uncertainty and it actually you are actually operating from a spirit that is the same spirit that has you studying your zodiac sign so if you listen to prophets, and when I say prophets, I mean men and women, so prophets and prophetess. If you listen to prophets, I want you to ask yourself, have you ever been into zodiac signs? And have you ever been into horoscopes? And have you ever, or have you ever gone to a psychic? Have you ever been into tarot cards? If the answer is yes, that's why you like prophets. That's why you listen to prophets. Because you are not trusting God for the future. You want to know the future before the future shows. So you're not walking by faith. You want somebody to tell you what is going to come. But instead of going to a psychic, because you want to know God and you want to be a Christian, you're going to what you call a prophet or who calls themselves a prophet. But if you listen to the prophets of today, you will notice they're not actually telling you anything that's definite. They're not telling you anything that can actually benefit you or prepare you. They're not telling you anything that you don't know and that your six year old not telling you. They just telling you in a way that your six-year-old can't tell you they telling you in a way that sounds deep and it sounds it sounds prophetic but that's because that's what you want to hear me personally i would never listen to a prophet of today it at all it it disturbed my spirit it disturbed my spirit. Even the lady that some of y'all really love, the lady celestial. It that when I go over there, I feel, it feels dark and gloomy, and it, it it does not feel like no Holy Spirit at all. And I sent it to my dad, and who has read the Bible front to back over ten times, like really, really studies the Word, and. He was a pastor you know, for 14 years of my life. When 14 years of me being in the home, he was a pastor. And then I moved out of 18 to go to college, play football. I sent it to him. And he was like, Tony, don't send me that stuff. He says, Tony, I do not listen to them people. He was like, I don't listen to a word them people be talking about. Because, and it got, and it was the same feeling. So that was confirmation for me now if you a baby in the lord like you you new to the faith you just started reading your bible 
this year, last year, the year before, like if you have not been reading your Bible for like a decade or more, and I mean like reading and studying the word. See, when I was growing up, my father had me and my sister, well, it was more so me, she was younger, but my dad would make me read the Bible and I had to read and it was mainly the the book of Proverbs and I had to read a chapter and then I had to write a summary of it of what it said what it meant and so I was doing like Bible study in a real way as a child and that's why the devil jumped on my back and I became a prodigal son from 18 to 23 really 15 to 23 but I was still in the house 15 to 18 so it wasn't much I could get into and I rededicated my life to Christ at 23 I'm 40 years old now I got married at 23 rededicated my life at 23 so but if you new to the word then that's when these prophets of today not the prophets of the Bible but the prophets of today, that's why they are so interesting to you. And that's why you feel so enamored by them. Because you have to understand rhythm and cadence. When you start to understand psychology and you start to understand the way the brain works, then you will realize that somebody could be blowing smoke but you would say that they're deep just because of their cadence just because of their rhythm just because of the tonality of their voice and but you have to study the brain to understand how those things work so once you become an orator and you understand speech and you understand tonality and you understand pitch voice inflection where sometimes you speed up i'm give you an example outside of the speaking world listen to if you listen to lil wayne rap or if you listen to jay-z rap those guys they have some very crazy lyrics like they say some nasty stuff jay-z says like some sacrilegious stuff but it's their rhythm and their cadence they master how to sound like they talking, how to sound like they talking fast, how to sound like they talking slow. And I'll study different speech patterns and study the message inside of the speech pattern. And when you really actually study the message and what you're hearing from a lot of the so-called prophets today, it's not anything prophetic. It's, it's really like if you call that a gift, you got the same gift. Like you can you can say that there's going to be war because there's always been war. And the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. You can say that there's going to be famine in the land because there's always been famine in the land. You can say that there's going to be disease and debauchery in the land because there's always been disease and debauchery. Like nothing is new under the sun and history repeats itself. So but if you can't say the month and the and the year then it ain't from god and if you say something as a prophet or prophetess and it does not come to pass that's it only takes one time you can't say so so if the prophet says joe biden gonna be removed from president and kamala harris gonna become the president if that didn't happen, then now you know that's not a prophet because God does not make mistakes. If God got a prophet, there is not going to be not a single false prophecy. It is going to come to pass to the T. And the prophet is not going to be able to come back and say, oh, well, God changed his mind. That's not how that works. So what you have to do is you really got to, you got to get to your root. 
And you got to look at what you are drawn to. So, for example, I don't study my zodiac sign. I know what it is, but I don't just because I live, I'm not under a rock, but I don't study it. I don't look it up and read what does it say about my zodiac sign. I have seen it going online and stuff. You be online. We got another hurricane that's supposed to be coming. So the, the, the what's it called is it? full, completely full gas station Sam's. I've seen it. And in seeing it, the little stuff I see, it, it'll be like 50% accurate, 50% wrong. And what I learned from that is if you don't study the mind and you don't understand how the mind works, you will read a lie about yourself that's in a zodiac summary or in a horoscope or what a psychic says or what a tarot reader says and you will believe it and you will bring it to pass you will you will force it to happen because you read that you are this type of person you read that this is your personality so you will stunt your growth and not allow yourself to grow and to heal and to change because what you read about your zodiac or your horoscope or whatever told you it told you that you're this type of person and this is going to happen. So you're getting up and you're walking around and you're waiting for it to happen. You will, and because you have ever believed those things, and let's say you've never believed those things, but because now someone is coming and channeling the same spirit that a psychic channels, it has, but it's under, but it's in the name of God, it has the same power over you that a psychic has over her clients. I seen a psychic online. I don't know if she was psych. It was a psychic or an, an tarot reader or something. I think it was a psychic. But she got a really rich man who became her client and she stole all the man money. She had that man give her all his money and, and she got like married to him basically and had a baby with him. But she had a whole nother man, like a whole husband. It's on American Greed. Look it up, American Greed Psychic Scam. And I want you to watch that. And I want you to realize that's the same thing that some of these so-called prophets are doing. They putting you under the same spirit. They channeling the same spirit as a psychic. But they doing it in the name of God. And then they getting you to fund their lifestyle. They getting you to fund their life because they have you under spiritual control because you don't trust God and you walk by fear and not by faith. So you lean on a human being to tell you what is coming tomorrow instead of trusting in the one who you know is bringing tomorrow. It doesn't matter what is coming if you know who bringing it. If you love and trust and have surrendered to God, it doesn't matter what happens tomorrow. It doesn't matter what happens next year. It doesn't matter who is in office. It doesn't matter what war, what plague, what famine is coming because there is nothing you can do to stop it. There is nothing you can do to prepare for it. If somebody, if, if Russia or somebody want to drop a bomb on your city, you're going to die. And the hope is that you will know the Lord and you will spend eternity with your father in heaven. But it ain't nothing you can do about that. And the same way you seen every believer in God have an expiration date, you have an expiration date just as well. We all have to go one day. So it does you no good to try to romance the future, to try to learn about what is going to happen in your future. Like the, the young lady that I was telling y'all about, uh, on the have you been deceived video i seen a clip of her telling people to stock up on beans for one you should already have canned goods but why beans and and what do that got to do with anything like we we not we don't live in a war-torn country 
you going to always in our country, especially right now in this day and age, you going to always be able to go to Publix, Kroger's, Aldi. You got a house full of beans for what? When have you ever been sick and shut in? We know we're near that. We know we're not living in the days of revelation. We are nowhere near that for you to have to have a house full of beans. So now you don't want to spend all this money. Now you ain't got no more money to donate to these women ministry because you got a cabinetry full of beans. And so now because of the, the prophetess that told you to stock up on beans, you walk around here farting on everybody, passing all this gas. We can't even breathe in the office and come to pass you the memo. Your cubicle need to be fumigated. You got so much gas. Now, now your prophetess then gave you ulcers, then gave you diverticulitis, your blood pressure aching up from the beans, you passing gas, your house stinking, your sheets stinking, your clothes stinking, your cubicle stinking, your children is starting to hate you because cause all y'all is eating is beans. Now your kids cussing you out. Now you producing prodigal sons because all you want to do is walk around eating beans and passing gas because your prophet has told you to stock up on beans. And see some 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 of the some of the prophetess and the prophets, some of them know not to ask you for no money. Cause they know you finna go to that website and you finna figure out. You finna figure out how to give money. They know you finna go and they finna do that. But see, anybody that's telling you the future, for one, if they ever get it wrong. Even one time that they are not no prophet of God. That that's what you got to be sure of. God ain't changing his mind because he know the beginning and the end. God ain't changing his mind. God ain't making no mistakes. And listen. 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 God is not giving nobody no prophecy every day. If you finna have a prophecy every day, you gonna be living like John the Baptist. You eating locusts and wild honey. God is not. I heard the prophetess y'all talking about celestial. She and the prophet. It, somebody sent me a video. I'm looking at it. She talking about. She making references to like cartoons. I can't remember if it was the Power Rangers or whatever. Everybody knows that cartoons have so much demonic symbolism in them. Why would God, think about this now, why would God, the original, the originator, why would God give a prophet a prophetess, a cartoon, a secular cartoon metaphor in his prophecy. That does not, that's not how God, God is not going to use things of Satan to teach you things about him. It's Satan is the copycat, not God. And if you're receiving a prophecy from the Lord three times a week, you're not watching cartoons. You're not watching television. You're not watching the news. Like, the, the prophetess that y'all talking about, these prophetess that y'all be talking about, they be more hip up onto the news. These is... Fox News and CNN prophets. These are not prophets of God. These people be knowing no more about the news than the news reporter. They be watching the news. They be reporting the news. And then telling you what they think finna happen next. That's not a prophecy from God. People who people who 
are prophets from God, they barely, they not going to even know who running for office. Like they're not caught up in, they are supping with the Lord. You got to understand the state of mind you have to be in to, to hear from God. A lot of people don't understand that. Like what, what do you think God is? Like that's, that's the question. Like what do you think God is? And why do you think God going to choose somebody on YouTube to talk to versus talking to you directly? Like, why would God go to somebody on YouTube to talk to them and give them a prophecy for your life on YouTube? Why would God choose that medium? Because not everybody got the Internet. Not everybody got unlimited data. Not everybody even got time for YouTube because they job working them six to eight hours a week. Like. And how, and how is somebody that's hearing from God so much going to know secular terms and secular TV and secular cartoons and secular music? That's for the rest of us who are life coaches and speakers and stuff like that. We have to be hip on that stuff and listen to that stuff. And we got to know about that stuff. Not no prophet. A prophet, the purpose of prophecy is to be from God's mouth to the prophet's ears and from the prophet ear out the prophet mouth. There is no consultation with Fox News, with CNN, with Power Rangers, with Tom and Jerry, with the rappers, with Instagram, TikTok. There's no there was no consultation a prophet is going to be God and the prophet. Think about this. John the Baptist didn't go and sit with people, the wise and the, the witch doctors and, and all of this. He told you, and what did he tell you? What did John the Baptist tell you? He told you about Jesus. He told you what, that there is somebody coming, that the son of God is coming. That's what he told you. He did. Like when somebody finna give you a prophecy about the future, it ain't even it, it's going to be beneficial for your life in the kingdom. Like it's God. And that's why we don't have prophets today. We because it's not something that is even needed. Like prophets in the Bible, they didn't have social media. They didn't have the news. They couldn't see what was going on in the, the, the next city over, the next country over. They couldn't, they didn't have the Holy Bible. Like the Holy Bible is the only prophecy that you need today. You don't need a YouTuber to tell you the future. And that is why, and listen to me, one thing that a prophet of God is not going to do, if God has a prophet in the land today, they're not going to be on YouTube. One thing they're not going to do is go back and forth with people. They're not going to wish death and damnation on people. But see, what? See when you look into the history of these prophets, what you're going to see is aspirations for money and fame. You're going to see, like somebody said, I didn't dive that deep, but somebody said the lady celestial that y'all love, was an R&B singer. I don't know if that's true. I don't know where they got the information from. But. Look into it. I know with the other young lady. Tiffany Montgomery. I seen a video from 11 years ago. When she was on the BET thing. And she was talking about she was a. And I think that's when I. That's around the time I met her. When she was. It could have been after that. That she was like an essence best selling author. Which is so that you know is not really a thing. Like it doesn't really mean anything. And best selling author doesn't really mean anything. And she had wrote a series of books. You know, she was a writer, like a fiction writer. That's and and she said in the video from eleven years ago, she said she was in the streets, you know, selling her books. She was at the top of the escalator at women's conferences selling her books. She sold twenty five hundred books in thirty days. And that she realized she had to hustle. She had to make the money come in. She had to get money. She got a daughter. She was a teenage mother. 
Say she went to college and had a 0 0.0. And her life was failing. And so she wanted to write a book. She wrote the book. Self-published the book. Then she got a publisher. And so again, desires of fame, money, significance. And then it did not work out with the books. So then here comes, okay, what's the next idea? Let me do this. All right, what's the next idea? Let me do this. And then here's the thing. People play on Christians because Christians are considered fanatics. The root word of fanatics is fan. So people come and use the name of God, but they make you a fan of them instead of you being a fan of God. They make you a fan of them and you worship the human, not God. You put the human before God and you are deceived by the human. See, the thing, of this is, if God had money, how would God use the money if God had money? If you were to use money for God, what, what would that look like? That means you would help the needy. Why are you giving money to a woman or a man instead of you going and helping the homeless, helping the needy, helping the poor? When you give your money to a human based on them asking you to give them money, they asking you for a donation, when you give them your money, now they go and pay for their house and their cars and their clothes and all of that. That money does not go to them and then go and help the poor. They will help the poor for for show. And they will. I seen a guy who he was criticizing the young lady, Tiffany. But in the past, he showed a thing where she was saying, you don't have to give a thousand dollar seed to get a breakthrough and that's that right there is the disarming that's to disarm you see what you got to realize is when somebody being used by satan and they being used for their own selfish gain they can't give you all poison they got to give you water too they can't just if they just come and give you poison 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 that's the same thing i told y'all about the guy kevin samuels he would say some stuff that was true because it was some stuff that I would say on my videos and people would be like, oh, women would be like, Tony, you sound like Kevin Samuels. And I'm like, not everything he says is a lie. Not everything he says is wrong, but that's how the devil works. The devil quoted scripture to Jesus. So what you got to understand is you got to look at the entire body of work. You can't just hear a message or two and say, oh, this message helped me. That's the point of it. The point of the devil deceiving you is to give you some scripture, to give you a little bit of help, to move you a little closer to God. But then guess what? The devil going to move you closer to God, but then he's going to insert himself between you and God. And now he's going to have you giving him your money instead of you giving the help to the needy and to those who need it. So. I don't give my tithes to the church. I don't give it to a church. I give it to those in need. I help those in need. I go right to the need because if I give my tithes to a church, for one, I don't get to go to a church regularly due to the ministry of my family. And my son's having a ministry and wanting to have, build a platform for Christ. And because I have children, I have to take care of my wife and my kids first. So like today, we got a game to go to. We had two games today. The one got canceled uh, because of the weather. So I don't give, I will give money to a church, but it'll be a portion. It'll be something to where I say, okay, I'm going to help. I'm going to bless this here church. But I go directly to the need because I am the church. We are the church. We make up the church. So if God show you a need, you don't have to give it to an administration where if you give ten dollars eight of the dollars go to the company to the church two of the dollars may go to the need 
That's how nonprofit organizations work. It's what you call top heavy. The executive, the founder has to get paid. The executive director has to get paid. The CEO has to get paid. The treasurer has to get paid. The, the president has to get paid. The VP has to get paid. The community director has to get paid. All of these people have to get paid from your donation before the, the, the last little bit of money actually hits the streets to help. So you are being deceived because you are walking in fear. You living in fear and not in faith. And you want somebody to tell you your future because you are not actually trusting God with your future. So if a woman can tell you or a man can tell you this is going to happen, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Instead of just teaching the word of God. Why don't these prophets just teach the word of God? Because the Bible is the only prophecy we need in this day and time. We needed prophets in the Bible day because there was no New Testament written. There was no book of Revelation that was written. So we needed prophets. Today, we don't need prophets because the entire Bible has been written. There is nothing that a prophet can tell you today that the Bible has not already told you. All these prophets is telling you is to stock up on beans. To get ready for a dictator or a tyrant to be in office, to get ready for a war. That's all of that is common sense. Like <laughs> we got to do better. We have got to do better. Hey, this on the gas. I ain't going to sit out here and talk too long. Because I got my wife breakfast. But hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.